hey there a viewer sent me a pen by the Chinese brand Wingsung and uh, I have used quite some Chinese pens in my time I can say and often they're fairly small uh, and fairly narrow in my experience there are a few exceptions but a lot of these pens have roughly this shape and if you compare that to say that's a big one but uh, an M1000 you probably kind of see what I mean often they're a bit skinny and they're fairly short well apparently not all Asian pens are small um, because if you were send me this this is the Wingsung 590 uh, it comes in a well, relatively nice box and I have to tell you I love this pen so I'm going to cover the parts of the pen tell what I like about it, what I don't like about it and I'll do a writing sample but first of all this is no small pen I'm taking this uh, Hero 753 that the same person sent me. I'm going to put it next to that, and then you'll probably see what I mean. This is a big one. Okay, now we know that typically black pens are bigger. Um, just, just look at the 149, for example. Um, but this one is really oversized. Okay, this is a Mont Blanc 149. That is not a small pen. Now, you may say, yeah, okay, Mont Blanc is the 149 is thick it has a lot of girth but it's not so much long well okay I see that uh, here we have an M1000 that's also uh, pretty girthy and even so you can see that this wing sung is still quite a lot bigger now what we have is here you cannot say that this is a small pen here we have a um, um, pilot parallel now that's a that's a tall pen okay here you have that 590 you see that it's almost the same size so you're talking about a truly oversized fountain pen here. Okay, let's let's cover the parts of the pen. Okay, let's start at the top. I love the top of the pen. It's a flat top, as you can see. The cap is the end is completely flat. It has a sort of bullseye on there, which I think is a pretty cool design. Then you have the clip. Clip is nice and simple. Ends in a ball. Those balls are always quite nice. If you want to put them in your shirt or whatever, you just pop it up, pop it on, and you just take it off. No problem whatsoever. I like those those ball ends. Um, it's a good enough clip, nice and springy, um, but not so hard that you can't use it. Um, there is the Wing Sung logo, uh, which is somewhat hidden, but you can see it right there on the clip. When you go down, you get a nice center band with a little bit of scroll work on there. Um, and I do believe, I have to check that, I saw that earlier today, no I don't, I was, oh yeah here we go, I knew it was somewhere, the model number is printed on the pen on the top of the clip, you see that, 590, right there interesting uh, spot to, to put the model number. I've never seen that before. Okay, so you have the center band, you have that smaller band, and then you have the very long barrel. That's a lot of barrel. Then you have another gold band and a smaller bullseye again. Now you've got to be a little bit careful with this pen because if you walk around like this people may think you're holding a small gun. So, okay. Another nice feature, a lot of the Chinese pens I've seen have slip caps, and believe it or not, but this one actually screws open. And as I said, I mean, make no mistake, this is a lot of pen. The cap alone is of significant size, okay? Then we have this nice tapered section flares out at one end you get another little gold ring you have these threads and the threads are not particularly sharp to be honest I've been using this pen a lot because I immediately fell in love with it and the threads have not bothered me at all uh, the section is not huge it's not so much long it is not even super girthy um, but it's very pleasant to hold it's definitely not a thin section Again, I will use this hero as a comparison. Um, you can definitely see that this uh, 590 has a thicker section, um, but it's not so thick that it is uncomfortable to hold. I think this would be a good pen for people. I was recently contacted by a girl who had some uh, health issues and who had trouble holding thinner pens. 
Uh, I think if you, su I know I have more viewers who, who suffer from these types of, of um, ailments. Um, if you do, I would seriously consider this pen because it's affordable, it's big, it's thick, so you can hold it, and it's light. It's not super heavy. It is a plastic pen. It's not metal, so I think it, it offers a lot of advantages for people who have some trouble with their hands. Okay, you know, screw this pen open, and then you see this huge aerometric uh, converter, which really is huge. Uh, it's a little hard to... I don't have a good comparison here, but uh, you, you probably know these, these aero converters from other Chinese pens. It's huge. Now, I can very carefully... Also, it seems to be a somewhat very light rose gold color or something, which is nice because usually they're very chrome color. I'm, I'm going to be very careful. There we go. Another beautiful thing is I have had a lot of bad experiences with these Chinese aerometric converters where you can only squeeze in four or five drops of ink. Well, guess what? This is a big sack and it fills almost completely. This is just written, this is emptied a bit because I wrote with it so much. Um, but that is all ink. So it's not just a thin layer of ink. No, this is solid ink all the way back up there. You see? So very impressive. Uh, they made it nice and thick so that it actually draws in quite a lot of ink. Beautiful filling system. Okay. Now, of course, the real question is, can we use this as an eyedropper? For that, I'm going to have to pull out a flashlight, because I need to look into the barrel. Yeah, there is metal down there. I am not sure. I'm not sure. Uh, I think it's very possible that ink is going to leak out of that bit. I'll have to try that with water someday and then report back to you guys. Okay, screwing it back into place. Uh, I say again, here we have a Diplomat Traveler. As you can see, that entire pen is almost as big as just the barrel of this pen. So, not to mention the girth. Alright, I think I've mentioned often enough how big this pen is. Um, let me tell you what I like about it what I don't like about it. I love the size. I love bigger pens. I love oversized pens. Um, Yardlet Viceroy Grant that someone very graciously sent me. Big pen, this one is bigger. I've, I've shown you the M1000, I've shown you the 149. Opera Crystal Visconti, big pen. The 590 is bigger. So it really is a big one, um, and it's great to use. The one thing I've not talked about yet is the nib. Well, Guess what? It's a nice nib. It looks to me like a number six nib. Um, it's gold colored. It's very simple, very plain. All it says is Wing Song, and then it has the, uh, the, the same in Chinese characters, I'm assuming. Um, it's nice. It's a very tapered nib, as you can see. But I think with a bit of luck, you can fit another number six nib in there. But to be honest, I don't see why you would, because it's a nice nib. It's smooth. It writes well, it gives you a nice consistent ink flow, it's not super dry, um, and it actually has a bit of springiness to it as well. So, very, very cool package. Okay, now, speaking of my big package here, um, it's a large one, and I love it. Um, I love the size, I love the shape. As I said, very pleasant to hold, light, but because it's so big, you do, it's not. I hate it when you have a very light pen, and when you write, you you're not really. It's like like you're not holding anything. You know, Mickey Falcon, for example. It's a small pen, very light. So, I I I like this more. You can post it, as you can see, it posts relatively deeply. So, um, it is still a bit top heavy when you do that, um, but. I would find this more than comfortable to use unpost, as you can see it's quite big. So, that's that. I love the nib for a pen of this caliber. Um, I think it's very smooth, very consistent ink flow, so that's nice. A bit of springiness doesn't hurt. What do I not like about the pen? Well, it remains a relatively inexpensive Chinese pen, uh, which means that you have to deal with certain things. For example, um, I can't show you that very well, but you may see it. Uh, you see that bottom gold ring. Well, it came like this, and then I just had to push up 
that gold ring a bit. So, you know, the quality control, we know it can be a bit dodgy with these pens, um, but in all, I mean, yes, there are some things. The tolerances sometimes are not as tight as you would expect uh, in, in Western pens. You see that little gap there, but you won't hear me complain. For what you pay for it, I think you get a very, very decent pen with this one. And just look, the size is beautiful. Okay, now, I fulminated enough about my size issues. Uh, let's take some measurements. I hope this is going to fit. No, it won't. This pen is so big, it capped. It's over six inches. Um, let me see. To about there. I get about... Uh, that is 115 and a half. It's about 16 centimeters. So that's that really is quite a bit, about 6.3 inches, I think. Um, uncapped, 146, also not small. Section diameter, uh, about 10 and a half millimeters at the narrowest point. At the widest point, a whopping 13 millimeters. It's not for those who have smaller hands, I'm afraid. Okay, let's take the weight. I think that's going to surprise you for a pen of this size. 26 grams. Now, that is inked up. If you take an M1000, that's 36 grams. Oops, nearly dropped it. And uh, a 149 is 32 grams. So, although it's big, as I said, quite light, beautiful pen. More than enough talk. You need to see this pen in action. Thanks a lot to the viewer who sent me this pen. I absolutely love it. Um, let's see how it writes. Guys, I hope I haven't bored you to death. I hope this was useful and um, I'll see you later. Bye! Okay, let's have a look at this pen. Um, Wingsung 590. The ink is uh, platinum, mix-free, uh, blue, Aurora blue, no, I, I forgot which which uh, name they gave it, but it's the blue that, that comes in that mix-free stuff. Okay, the paper is Clairefontaine, and the quick brown fox does jump over a lazy dog. There we go. Writing is smooth, it's pleasant, um, it is not the resistance-free smoothness of a Pelican M1000. Uh, it gives you a bit more feedback, it's also a finer nib than I have on there, this is a, a double broad on mine. Um, but it's, it's very pleasant, I, I do not find it scratchy at all. Um, Just a bit of, of feedback to let you know that you're writing, but there is no getting snagged on the paper or anything. As you can see, writes well, decent ink flow, no problems with skipping or anything. So that's quite nice. As to wetness... It's not the absolutely wettest writer out there, uh, but it's not, it's not terribly dry either. It's just a well-tuned nib, I suppose. For me personally, it could be a little bit wetter, so I may adjust it a bit, but this is how it came out of the box. Okay, as to line variation, you see, this is where things get interesting. The pen was not meant as a flex pen, so you see it starts to railroad, but you can easily get it started again. And it starts to railroad again, so you probably have to take it a bit slower if you want to uh, do some flex writing with it. But... nice thing is if you do go slow you can actually get some really nice line variation out there and as you can see nothing happened to the nib it's not sprung it can really take it pretty well so I think that is very fascinating because that gives you not just a nice oversized pen but also a pen with a very cool a springy nib. I wouldn't call that a full flex nib. I probably wouldn't even call that semi... well, yes, I think I would call that semi flex. Uh, it's definitely above average springiness. Okay, just see if it, if it writes after this 
ink expenditure. It doesn't actually run dry. I haven't, I haven't had it run dry on me. It's just that I'm, I'm doing something that the feed is not really built for. Um, there we go. So that's why it ran dry. Okay, uh, reverse writing. Very smooth, I must say. I've had this a lot scratchier. So this is a pen that you can easily just reverse and use for a finer uh, nib grade. The, the nib is not labeled as fine or medium, but it's obviously something in between fine and medium. Um, but reverse, you get a nice fine line. So there you have it. I uh, thank the viewer who sent me this a lot because I really love this pen. I think that's clear by now. So thanks a lot. Um, guys, I hope this was useful. And um, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.